I'm The Voice, and this is a Divi community-produced video from the foundation. It is already a good option. However, we also want to bring a lot more to this wallet, right? Yeah. Um, so some of the things that we're bringing, Voice, maybe you want to talk about that, the, the change for the phone, uh, the backup. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought you said change for the vault. <laughs> yeah, the no, changes. So the changes. The changes. I was like, the... change. I, I'd like your vault change. If there's yes. <laughs> sure, send me your change. Um, <laughs> well, you know, we we talked about. Uh, well, actually, it's been a big topic for us. Um, there are uh, the changes in the tiers, right? That's the one thing, and that's been. I can't. I can't even tell you how many requests I've had for that. It's it's been more than or, uh, than I can count, because I do help out in the, in the support portal, and um, people have asked for tiers higher than the platinum tier. So those will be coming. Um, the other thing that uh, that uh, is a future topic that's coming. Um, and maybe it'll coincide with the release of the new tiers. Uh, I'm hopeful that it will, and it, it probably will. But there. There is the goal of a different tier uh, of fee structure will change. Um, right. That requires, of course, a lot of negotiation. It requires a lot of uh, work on the teams that are putting all this together. But I think everybody will be excited about that. So you'll see some uh, tier uh, changes, increases, and you'll see some price changes um that won't be increases this is, this is right. a great thing so yeah. uh, keep Everything that keep that air it will not right. be an increase well obviously a diamond tier is a bigger tier so there may be some differences in cost there but um that is huge for us and i'm happy that that is coming because i'd like to see those nodes um some of them are self-staking um come back online that would be great because when they're self-staking of course that does require, if you're a full node, a reference client, as I said earlier, you got to keep it on all the time. And some of those people that I've met don't either A, want to, some do, but some don't, don't want to leave it online all the time, or B, they don't have a, a stable internet connection. That's the great thing about these remote servers. They have commercial quality stable internet connections and allows them to perform really well so yeah so i think there's also something that you were working on because of your fantastic graphic skills i'm teasing um we're talking about eventually a <laughs> better reskin, than mine right yeah it's better than rob's yeah. well, look, look at our avatars i think i, I think mean, rob's yeah, avatar is know where i started from so yeah, you know, yeah. Sure <laughs> your <laughs> eyes are still crying your eyes are still <laughs> crying but i think we're we're talking about um uh, well and the next next thing i was going to mention was the the reskin reskin mm -hmm. so we're yeah that's we're working right. on so a style i don't i don't know how fast it will come but no i just want to make sure that it is it is clearly communicated that's that's an objective for us um, one of the things that I think you didn't mention that I think is actually more important on a, on a short time frame Multi -wallet. is having the option to have a local backup of the blockchain. Oh, I didn't even mention that. You're right. Because this is one of the biggest, um, you know, a, a biggest problem when people have a bad connection or um, like every time they want to open their wallet. And we both know uh, how the, the core can be a little bit sensitive sometimes. So if you, you know, brutalize a little bit the core by closing your computer a little bit too fast, um, like if you have a, mob, a mobile computer and then you close the lid and you didn't, you didn't turn the DV wallet off, you will have some changes that it will actually be broken and it will have to resynchronize the whole blockchain. So we did bring the primer a few years ago, which yeah. is definitely bringing a lot of help. But, but in fact, we will also get um, local backup of the blockchain so that hopefully you never have to sync again the, the full sync. So we're working yeah. on that right now. Um, one of the other things that we want to bring is the uh, multi-wallet management system. So exactly. as part of the DV 3.0, the blockchain improvement that, that was uh, released in August, um, there is a multi-wallet feature that you can now move from one wallet to the other without having to restart the core. And, and it's, it's actually pretty, um, pretty good to 
manage multiple wallets, if you're managing multiple wallets for your family or even for yourself, because sometimes it's good to manage in different accounts, Business uh, account. then that would mm -hmm. be a lot, um, a lot more easily accessible now uh, in a direct one-click feature uh, within the wallet. And so another thing that we've been working on is the oh, multi-sig yeah. setup. Um, that was actually one I, of your. It's it's yeah it's 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 actually something that I helped contribute on. Um, that is actually pretty much in the system right now. It's actually in the desktop. It's not finished yet, but the multi-sig setup is there to where multiple parties can then fund an address, and then those funds won't move unless uh, like two or three of those parties approve that. So it's it's good in business situations. So yeah, we have the multi-wallet, which could be good in a business situation. And then you can tie that with the multi-sig, multi-signature setup and management. All of that is handled through, uh, uh, we could call it Vochi, although we called it Mochi before, but it makes it really easy for people to set up, back up, preserve their multi-sigs this is very geeky most people won't use it but if you wanted an extra level of security for your funds and you wanted to let's say cold storage or set something aside um it's a perfect it's a perfect perfect setup for that so very excited about that i'm glad you brought up about the back chain block up too it was um it was something that uh, that uh, was. You just said the back chain block up. Back chain, the back chain block. Up. I was That's, confused. I love it. It's the back chain block up. The 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 uh, primer. Um, it's a pain. It's the primer is something that I have to say. Just like the multi sig, I had a hand in. Right, the primer I used to give people. Remember that, Rob? People would have. Yes. They didn't want to sync, and so then from a centralized machine, I would create the the backup, and then they would install that blockchain data, and then they'd sync right up. I didn't like yes. that, but it was convenient for them. And then I was sending that, and I was storing it on 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 a different service that Firefox had created, and then people were downloading that and 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 restarting their machines. That still makes me uncomfortable. I don't like being that centralized source, just like you don't like being the centralized person for the DAO. So right. we created the server that is connected to the blockchain all the time and creates that backup. In this process, that is the um, the regular backup, it's copied from your own backup, it's stored in a special folder, and then if you have a sync problem, it just will be replaced. It'll just take what your copy was and move it right back in and you'll sync up right away. So we have, what is that? How many things are we talking about? We've got new tiers. We have reduction on pricing coming, right? We have an optional local back chain block up primer sync additional <laughs> replacement. We have a reskin, which we can't yeah. even talk about yet because that's. I'll talk, I'll that's, talk about the reskin. Yo, yeah. well, uh, well, let me just talk about it. We've got three, and then we have multi wallet management, which I've used, by the way, and it's pretty freaking awesome. And then, of course, we have multi sig management coming. The desktop is having a lot of things coming to it.